Hello and welcome to this guide to the Yautja clans. Before I begin, I'm just going to go through what I'll be covering in this video so you'll know exactly what to expect. We will begin by exploring exactly what is meant by a clan, how a clan is formed, how an individual joins a clan, the structure of a clan, a clan's status amongst the Yautja community, interactions with other clans, and we will end by listing as many of the predator clans that I'm aware of, as well as some of their most notable members. What is a clan? A clan consists of a group of Yautja who often refer to each other as brother, whilst living and sometimes hunting together. Although not all predators belong to a clan, some groups are highly respected, whilst others are seen as disgraced Yautja who are banished by the rest of their kind. Forming a clan. Although there is no uniform way in which a clan is formed, some writers have suggested that it is determined by an individual rising through the ranks and taking the reins of an existing group, or forming a new one altogether as a highly respected individual. Other writers have implied that a lower ranked individual may challenge the position of a leader similar to some animal communities. Outcast bad blood predators have also banded together to form their own new clans in order to increase their chances of survival against the more traditional hunters. Joining a clan The variety of literature available on Yautja has indicated that there are various ways of joining a clan. The most obvious way is to be born into a clan, however that does not mean that you will rise to the rank of blooded hunter as some unblooded individuals die on their initiation hunts. Individuals born into a clan may be related brothers or fathers and sons. These relations, however, provide added pressure as poor performances may bring disgrace to the father who may be punished as a result. Other Yautja manage to enter clans after proving themselves as worthy members. This may be achieved by challenging an existing member or champion of a clan. Finally, clans will even accept members from other species if impressed by their kills and hunting prowess. Michiko Nagochi was one such human who received Ashande's mark after helping him defeat a xenomorph queen. The structure of a clan. Clans have a hierarchy of power with the leader typically being the oldest and strongest individual who shares his power with his matriarchal mate. Below the clan leader are his group of elites of which one will be selected by an elder to be the next in line for the position of leader. If a specific elite is not selected upon the leader's death, this group will battle for dominance to determine the next leader. Ancients also have a valuable position within a clan, however adopt a more spiritual mentoring role to younger hunters, as well as advisors to clan leaders and elites. Some clans are thought to have a monarchy, with younger hunters commanding much higher levels of respect than otherwise given to predators of the same age. The masks of these individuals may possess highly ornamental designs to signify their royal status. The status of a clan. A clan's status can also vary from one group to another. For instance, bad blood clans have low status within Yautja society, whilst other clans have legendary status due to the hunting prowess of their members. These high-ranking clans will often outrank and outperform other factions. Interacting with other clans. Although clans tend to stick to their own, the Council of Ancients can pit two clans unknowingly against each other to determine the stronger unit. In other instances, clans have broken out into full-scale wars due to conflicting ideologies or blood feuds. If the occasion demands it, clans can converge to partake in large-scale xenomorph hunts or to defend Yautja Prime against outside threats. Finally, some individuals have moved from clan to clan or collaborated with other clans for a period. This can be seen with Viper working with Crack Tusk, despite having his own serpent clan. We will now explore the variety of known Yautja clans. I will try to discuss as many of the clans as I'm aware of, but inevitably there will be exclusions and I cannot possibly include them all. We will therefore begin with the Jungle Hunter clan. The Jungle Hunters have a history of war with the Super Predators. Their most notable members include the Jungle Hunter, the Crucified Predator, an unnamed Jungle Hunter from AVP Evolution, the Warrior Yautja from the same game, and it is also possible that the MKX Predator may have belonged to the same clan as he looked very similar to the Jungle Hunter. The individual known as Renegade Predator may have also originally belonged to this clan before joining another tribe. The Los Angeles Hunting Party, also known as the Lost Tribe, they landed in Los Angeles in 1997, hiding their mothership beneath the city. This group was led by Greyback, however only the City Hunter participated in the hunt. Their most notable members include Greyback, Boar, Borg, City Hunter, 
guardian, scout, shaman, snake, who is or was also part of the serpent clan, stalker, and warrior. The isolated clan. The isolated clan, also known as the Antarctica clan, is a large clan of predators who sent their unblooded individuals to Bouvet Island every 100 years. The members of this faction live in isolation from other clans in a mountainous world with freezing cold temperatures. They have adapted special spiked footing and thermal netting, as well as a full body of armour in order to live in these extreme conditions. Their best known members include Scar, Celtic or Celtic depending on how you want to pronounce it, Chopper, Ancient, The Super Predator Clan, this exiled group of bad blood super predators were in conflict with a jungle hunter clan. They would abduct and hunt other life forms in a game preserved planet whilst failing to adhere to the traditional Yautja honor codes. Their most notable members include the Berserker, the Falconer, the Tracker. I'm also going to mention Nightstorm here, as he was the first Yautja who went rogue as a bad blood and formed the super predator race. Therefore, he may actually be the originator of this clan. The Gotham City Hunting Party This clan landed in Gotham City between 1991 and 1997. Their most notable members include Big Red aka Samurai Predator, Albino, and Wasp. However, it is very likely that there were quite a few other members, including the individuals who fought with Batman in the comics. The Dark Blade Clan this highly powerful clan were renowned for their advanced weaponry, but likely lost some standing after Scarface allowed their technology to fall into human hands. Scarface would later redeem himself and restore the honour of this clan. This elite faction possesses some of the most formidable hunters, who are equipped with the most powerful customised versions of traditional Yautja weaponry. The Darkblade clan's most notable members are Longspear, Scarface, Stoneheart, Swift Knife, and the Elder, the Young Blood Pack of BG386. The Young Blood Pack were a group of five inexperienced Young Blood Yautja who travelled to BG386 to prove themselves by taking part in a xenomorph hunt on the planet. This pack consisted of a group of five inexperienced Young Blood Yautja who travelled to BG386 to prove themselves by taking part in a xenomorph hunt on the planet. However, all five members were killed. Four of these individuals were unnamed predators, however the most notable member was Claw. The Elite Clan The Elite Clan are a group of skilled brawlers with legendary status, both outranking and outperforming most other clans. They themselves were only subordinate to the Council of Ancients, who rule Predator society as a whole. The clan was led by Spartan, and they would adopt young unblooded predators who wished to prove themselves worthy of membership and of carrying the title of Elite. Their most notable members include Spartan, Alien Head Predator, aka Serpent Hunter, Dark, Hunter, Wolf, and at least one unnamed predator. The Sandrad Clan. When Sandrad, California became infested with xenomorphs, Warrior arrived with Hunter to assist the human soldiers Lin Kurosawa and Major Dutch Schaefer in their battle for survival. This clan's most notable individuals include Warrior, aka Tireless Fighter, Hunter, aka Berserker, Mad Predator, who was a bad blood due to his infected condition, and at least one unnamed predator who had a mask similar to Celtic's. Dashande's clan or pack. Dashande, aka Broken Tusk, had a powerful clan known for seeding xenomorphs in order to hunt them as part of initiation hunts for unblooded individuals. Unfortunately, a big portion of his clan died on Ryushi, where the clan's landership was destroyed. A young Yautja named Tashindi became a bad blood and took over command of the clan. Dashandi would eventually reclaim power, but died fighting a xenomorph queen before marking Machiko Nagochi as a blooded warrior. This human would join the surviving members of the Predator Mothership as a new clan member. Now, please forgive me as I try to pronounce some of these names. Dashande, Skemti, Warka, Tashindi, Asigan, Machiko Nagochi, Veklater's Pack. Another very difficult name to pronounce, but it seems like this group belonged to a larger clan that also included Top Knots and Dashandi's Packs. As far as I'm aware, the known members of this clan included Veklita, Sitte, 
However, I'm sure that there are others. Top Knot's pack. At some point, the members of this group included Top Knot, Shorty, Light Stepper, Two Stripes, Machiko Nagochi, although she subsequently left this clan and Two Stripes was also banished. Smiley's clan. This tribe of Yautjo were conducting xenomorph-related activities on an unknown world, already colonised by a small group of humans. Smiley is the most notable member, as the others still remain unnamed. Prince's clan. This clan was led by the monarch Yautja Prince, and were operating in the early 23rd century on Karari LV1201. The known members of this clan include... Prince. First Light Predator. Second Light Predator. First Heavy Predator, Second Heavy Predator, First POC Predator, Second POC Predator, Assault Predator, and some unnamed dead predators found by Prince in the canyons near the pods. The next clan name is extremely difficult to pronounce and might even sound like something else when I say it, so I hope I get this right, but it's Tleeclops Clan. I do apologise for that, please correct me in the comment section, somebody. Um, but this clan of hybrid Yautja came to Earth during the time of the Vikings in order to hunt them as the most powerful of warriors. The most notable members of this clan included Tleeklop, Shriek, Taroga, Katanu. I do apologise again for butchering all of those names, but if you want to know more about those individuals, please read the book or the short story Skled's Keep from the book If It Bleeds. Now, my next clan appears in the same book as my previous one, uh, also from a short story, but this time it's called Rematch, and this story is about Nakande who pairs up with his mate Vagauti to visit Earth in order to find and slay Sloane, a former marine and park ranger who killed a predator in a previous encounter. The most notable members include Nakande, Vagauti, this clan may also have included the predator who they were avenging from the story Turnabout, so we'll say an unnamed predator, possibly the predator destroyed in the story Turnabout in 2008. The Poachers. The Poachers were a group of predators encountered in Alien vs Predator Extinction on Mission 3. They were possibly a clan of bad bloods that went head to head with the player's faction. However, it was subsequently discovered that they were intentional opponents of the player's clan by the Council of Ancients to discover their successors. Their most notable member was the clan leader, who was also a disc master. The Killer Predators This clan of bad bloods were considered to be heretics by traditional Yautja due to their killing methods. Refusing to obey the honour code, they would kill innocents for pleasure. They continue to distance themselves from traditional Yautja laws by using xenomorphs and hunting dogs during hunts. The killer predators first appeared in Africa at the start of the 21st century in the Predator Prey to the Heavens comic. They had a feud with the regular hunters that grew into a full-scale civil war by the end of the 22nd century. Their most notable member includes the killer clan Predator. The Ryushi Hunters the Ryushi hunters were part, or perhaps an entire clan of predators, ordered to seek and destroy a rival clan of bad bloods called the Killer Predators on Ryushi. On their journey, they allied with Machiko Nagochi and her marine to assist with the task. The most notable member of this group is Hunter Captain, aka Alpha Male, the Tartarus clan. This clan was present on planet Tartarus, where they would find Ahab who defeated their champion named Horned Head before joining and possibly taking control of the clan. It is unclear if this was Ahab's initial clan, or if he joined it as a new member. Eventually, these predators would unite with the colonial marines and fight a horde of xenomorphs. Although some of their clan members were killed, the Elder and Ahab emerged victorious with some others also surviving. Their most notable members include... Elder, Ahab, Hornhead. It is also implied that the following predators may also have belonged to this clan. Crack Tusk, the Hive Wars Predator, Scavage, and Green Renegade Predator. However, this is unclear to me, and they may be two separate clans. Please let me know in the comment section if you know for sure. The Lava Clan. This was a rare tribe that inhabited the lethal volcanic regions of Yautja Prime. They wore specialised masks and cloaking nets to suppress the high levels of radioactivity. Lava Clan warriors carried specialised weaponry specific for hunting large deadly insectoid beings known as the Vydrak. As it stands, 
there remains one notable member, the aptly named Lava Planet Predator, the Serpent Clan. The notorious Serpent Clan are renowned throughout the Yaucha underworld as the most skilled and brutal group of mercenaries. They specialise in xenomorph hunts and occasional clan wars with their only code being to finish every job. This clan is run by Viper and his brother Snake who is possibly the same individual from the Lost Tribe Predators. The notable members include Viper, Snake, the Night Hunter Clan. This clan are based in a pitch black region of Yaucha Prime near their southern pole. Having developed unparalleled night vision technology, the members of this clan hunt in coordinated packs over large open areas. Their translucent skin is an environmental adaptation that allows their luminous green blood to shine through. The glow also acts as a location signal in the absence of light. Although the majority of their prey is blind, this clan prefer to hunt in packs so that they can gain an advantage on their large and extremely dangerous prey. This clan are isolated from the rest of the planet and thus hunt more for survival than for sport. The Night Hunter clan is one of few predator clans that does not possess cloaking technology as there is no use for it in that environment. The most notable member is Stalker. But despite sharing the same name, this does not appear to be the individual from the Los Angeles hunting party. The Space Tribe This tribe began hunting non-organic mechanical beings because it proved to be more challenging. In addition to hunting robotic life, a mysterious rival Yaucha, the pirates called Razor, has threatened several Space Tribe missions and thus has also become a target. The leader of the rogue space tribe is Spiked Tail, who is allied with the armoured Lost and laser shot predators. Spiked Tail's unorthodox hunting methods and use of illegal weapons cause the exile of his team from Yaucha Prime. The Widow Clan This clan refers to a pair of female Yauchas who have lost their mates during hunts, therefore becoming widows. They are seasoned warriors themselves, and the clan is highly respected by other predators. The only known members of this clan, however, are Hashori. At 9 feet, this female is the largest natural adult predator ever seen. She is the only Yaucha to speak and understand English fluently and took pleasure in torturing her prey with various Yaucha devices. The second member of this clan is Wendigo, a female Yaucha nicknamed for her wild screaming and aggressive temperament. This was in stark contrast to the calm demeanour of her deceased partner, Shamana. I am also going to include the Hishq-10 in this list. The Hishq-10 are possibly an ancestor or subspecies of Yaucha. They are less intelligent, less honourable, with differing physiology to regular Yaucha. Another major difference is their kill gland, an organ that produces strong hormones, increasing their strength and driving the creatures into an uncontrollable rage. If the gland is left uncontrolled, they will even attack and kill their own kind, which can lead to their own extinction. In their own language, their name translates to the people who take territory, and they can also brainwash other races to become their slaves. The Hishkuten society also possesses a hierarchical structure, with a clan leader taking command. Some known clans include the Clan Cook. This clan, led by Shesh Cook, had exclusive rights over Safari Planet 3998. Clan Karepta. The leader of Clan Karepta launched a nuclear attack on a rival clan whilst under the influence of the Kill Gland. I'm also going to mention the MKX Predator within this clan. Now, this is because in Mortal Kombat, you can actually select this Predator in a Hishq-10 form, so he could possibly belong to the Hishq-10. The final clan on this list are the Council of Ancients. This council are the superior and prime ruling authority of the Yautja, comprised of the most respected clans. They were responsible for upholding rituals and traditions, and their decrees were law, with other clans looking to them for guidance. Before clans could have exclusive hunting rights to a planet, they would have to initially petition to the council for permission. The council would also administer punishment against threats to Yautja from other beings, in order to keep the honour of their own race. If the Ancients have selected successors following the completion of the proper trials, the future council acts as a subordinate clan to the current council. Ancient clans would eventually look to the strongest and most distinguished of lesser clans to be their successors. Once selected, these clans are kept ignorant to their nomination. The Ancients will order the Chosen to participate in two clan trials, designed to showcase skill in bravery and strength. Seizing the skull of a marine lieutenant without alerting other humans would display stealth, whilst infiltrating a mature hive to slay a queen would exhibit bravery. 
Upon successfully completing these two trials, a clan becomes the successors to the council. The known members of the Council of Ancients includes Ancient Nuke Carrier. The addition of the Council of Ancients concludes this list and takes the total number of clans up to 27. Now, some of these may be subclans or packs, but either way, I have listed 27 in total. Guys, I'm going to make no pretenses, but this video was extremely difficult to put together. There is so much information out there and a lot of it is quite vague and in some cases quite confused, with numerous writers and different media creating a plethora of individuals. I really think that it could do with some tidying up, but I'm definitely not the guy to do that. Therefore, if I have made any errors or exclusions, and I'm sure that I have, then please let me know and I will make the necessary adjustments and re-upload the video later on. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to subscribe, but more importantly, stay safe and well during these times.